Hello everybody, this is Jeremy Mateo with Anada. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Audio Cipher version 3. This is a text to MIDI generator. You have the ability to generate melodies as well as chords. And you can select everything from the root note to the scale type, which has many to select from and even the types of chords when you are generating chords. Triads, seconds, all the way to ninths, and then randomized. Random is actually going to give you the biggest selection to choose from, but personally, I really like the way that seventh chords sound, so I tend to go with that. Now, this is as easy as saying, hey, what's up? Hitting drag MIDI and bringing it into your session. Now. And as you hear, that is an actual good sounding progression. Now, how can we modify the timing? We can hit this randomize rhythm, which will actually completely randomize the rhythm that you get. Which can sound crazy. Or you can actually use the slider. Now this comes from 16th notes all the way to whole notes. We have 16th, 8th, quarter, half, and whole notes. And in between, I believe these are triplets, um, the way that I've kind of Determine that is by selecting the half note. And then setting it to this. And that seems to be a triplet note. So, pretty simple. I have heard some complaints that some people say that you can't match this to your tempo. Well, this doesn't matter what your tempo is. So if I set it to 75, set it to whole notes. So it is automatically generating notes that are the length that you select. But the timing really depends on your slider and if you have random turned on and off. Select our chords. And this is where I do a little bit of editing. I personally don't really like having too many repeat notes, not because it sounds bad, but simply because it's a little repetitive. So I will remove any repeat notes and just take a listen to it. To me, that sounds fantastic. We'll delete the excess notes and we're done. We've created a fantastic uh, loop. Now, I can do many things like go into Easy Keys, drag this in, import this, and then utilize Easy Keys to actually replace the MIDI, which is something that can be done, and turn it into something like this. Now what I like to do is actually drag this, bring it into my chord track inside of Cubase, import that. It says F sharp major, but F sharp major is actually just the relative of D sharp minor. And we can actually verify that by going into D sharp minor, clicking easy keys, relative is F sharp major. So that is correct. Now we're going to get out of chords. We're gonna use melody, and let's do some new text. It'll be, hey, let's jam out, yo. This is completely, like, I'm making this up as we go, right? So we can do something like an eighth note, drag it down, and now you see we have almost two bars generated. I actually really like that. Now, if we want to, we can do some more advanced tools by using Cubase's features. Because we've utilized the chord track, I can now go into this uh, channel and be like, hey, follow the chords and scale. I can either scan it to synchronize, which will kind of change it really aggressively, or I will just chords to scale, follow directly. And then I can go into the editing and make it snap certain things to the grid. So if we repeat this a couple of times, we can edit any type of things that we think are a little off. Like. It 
something like that. And then we can just have this snapped into other chord structures. See, like that doesn't work, so we'll just bring it up. And then we can play it from here. And we can actually just repeat these from here because they sound great. And because it's following the chord structure that we've generated using Audio Cipher, any edits will be done because we're using the chord track. And let's say we want something completely different. We can be like, um, just type in whatever you want, drag it down, and edit it as you wish. All right, so for this, we could do... And there we go, we've created a very basic, very simple little melody. The only one we didn't really edit was this one, so we can take a quick listen to it just to make sure that it sounds okay. Cool, and now we have something that um, might not be perfect, it might not be ideal, but it is a good starting off point. We can start editing the MIDI, uh, changing the timing, and maybe even adding some triplets here and there to kind of blend it in. The next step is we will just go ahead and create a beat. For this case, we will just use Beatmaker Cozy. Something really, really simple, something we don't really need to think about. It's just kind of like a lo-fi thing. And the best part is that if you have a, I would say progression, but a sentence structure that you really like that you use quite often, you can modify an experiment by using the different types of rhythms. Like I really dug that one that we did. Let's see how it would sound if we did this. It's a little too fast, right? I think that that doesn't really fit compared to what we did here, which sounds fantastic. Right? But that's all part of this. I think it's an amazing chord generator, period. As you heard from those chords, all I did was a minor edit, and this is a very usable chord structure. It's actually fantastic. I 
I can go throw this into Easy Keys, modify it, uh, use Scalar with this to kind of create something based off of this particular chord structure that I've created using just words. I could literally just be like, hey, what's up? Boom, I have a chord structure. Boom, I have a melody. And then I can do any type of modifications very quickly, as you saw. There are some tricks that I like to use. In my case, since I'm in Cubase uh, Pro 13, chord track, lock this into scale, and then do any modifications. And we can now create something that sounds pretty usable. And we can just do any types of fine tuning and edits as we go. And we can build along with this. So if we have multiple tracks, we can grab multiple instances of uh, generated MIDI uh, progressions and just drag them in and edit them as it goes. Now, checking the website, Audio Cypher right now, if you buy it now, should be about $30. But... I have actually contacted them and let them know that I was doing a video on this and they have graciously offered to supply me with a discount coupon of 10% for the next seven days after this video goes live. So I'm not making any money off of it, but if you guys kind of like the idea of this and you want to check it out, it's a $30 plugin that you'll get 10% off and that's always cool having a little bit of a discount. This is Jeremy Tell within the DAW. Like I said, if you want to check this out or grab it, there will be a link down below and that will have a 10% coupon. Again, that will last for seven days after this video goes live. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.